Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman. Welcome to Illustrate to Educate. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly objective videos on topics that matter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble. Are you ready for another round of Democrats vs. Republicans? Let's start this versus battle with what's happening right now. 2020 has been a critical year for politics and watching each side respond to different current events has been interesting to say the least. According to Pew Research, there is a difference in consensus about whether a new stimulus package will be needed to address the economic fallout from the coronavirus. Democrats have been continuously pushing for more economic assistance after the original CARES Act in April 2020. Republicans, however, are generally less likely to say an additional stimulus package is necessary despite President Trump's support for another round. These surveys also show that Republicans are more comfortable in engaging in activities such as eating out in a restaurant, going to a hair salon or barbershop, and attending an indoor sporting event or concert, where Democrats are more cautious and less comfortable doing so. And when it comes to masks, you'll find that Democrats are twice as likely to say that they support that masks should always be worn, a 63 to 29% difference. Lastly, what about schools and colleges reopening? You'll find that Democrats have criticized the Trump administration for not creating rules or standards aimed at protecting the health of faculty or college workers, while Republicans are emphasizing the importance of reopening, saying it will restore a sense of normalcy, allow education employees to return to work, and prevent students from falling behind or dropping out. Now let's dive right into our first big topic, civil rights. Democrats focus on every American no matter their race, sex, ethnicity, language, religion, sexual orientation, gender identity, age or disability being treated equally. They point to their long and proud history of defending civil rights and expanding opportunity for all Americans. They are committed to protecting voting rights, freedom of religion, equal federal rights for LGBT couples, and women's rights to make their own healthcare decisions. They support criminal justice reform as well as ways to prevent gun violence. Republicans are generally against affirmative action, which refers to policies supporting members of disadvantaged groups that have previously suffered discrimination in areas such as education, employment, and housing. They describe it as a quota system and believe that it should be based on merit such as talent, effort, and achievement. They believe that policies like this are counterproductive socially by only further promoting discrimination. Many Republicans support race-neutral admission policies in universities, but support taking into account the socioeconomic status of the student. Now let's take a look into their views on the economy. Democrats gear their economic policies to benefit low-income and middle-income families. They believe that reducing income inequality is the best way to foster economic growth. This belief is based on the idea that low-income families tend to spend extra money on necessities which directly increases demand. Democrats also support a Keynesian economic theory which says that the government should spend its way out of a recession by increasing demand to boost growth spending on things such as infrastructure, education, and unemployment. Republicans, on the other hand, advocate for supply-side economics that primarily benefits businesses and investors. This theory states that tax cuts on businesses allows them to hire more workers, in turn increasing demand and growth. In theory, the increased revenue from a stronger economy offsets the initial revenue loss over time. Republicans advocate for the right to pursue prosperity without government interference, and they argue that this is achieved by self-discipline, enterprise, saving, and investing. Now let's dive into healthcare. Democrats are focused on securing universal healthcare for Americans, and they believe that every American should have access to quality, affordable healthcare. They take credit for President Johnson signing Medicare into law in 1965, and in 1997, they passed the Children's Health Insurance Program, CHIP, which currently covers 8 million kids. In 2010, Democrats were able to pass comprehensive health reform into law called the Affordable Care Act, where more than 20 million Americans have gained health care coverage by providing tax credits to help businesses and families pay for insurance. Republicans are focused on repealing the Affordable Care Act of 2010, saying it has stifled the medical industry and driven up prices for all consumers. They point to the increased insurance premiums, rising deductibles, and prescription drug prices. They argue that most common silver plans on the exchange limit access to doctors and prescription drugs. Their plan is to simplify the system for both patients and providers, increase healthcare options while containing costs. Next, let's look at immigration. Democrats want to remove many of the threats that they believe immigrants face. They take pride in the hundreds of thousands of dreamers under the Obama administration who have received temporary statuses that allow them to study, work, pay taxes, and contribute to communities they grew up in. They are focused on immigration reform that improves the immigration system, border security, 
and prioritizes enforcement to target criminals while keeping families together and strengthening the economy. Republicans believe in immigration laws and immigration reform that addresses the need of national security. The party believes that a system needs to be in place to ensure that immigrants who enter this country illegally are not provided with the same benefits that legal citizens are. The party believes that amnesty towards those who have broken immigration laws only encourages future immigrants to enter the country illegally. Republicans ultimately value immigration as long as it is done legally. Let's take a look at their environmental views. Democrats believe that climate change poses a real and urgent threat to our economy, national security, and the health of future generations. Democrats are committed to curbing the effects of climate change, protecting America's natural resources, and ensuring the quality of air, water, and land for current and future generations. They are focused on investing in clean energy to protect our ecosystems while generating thousands of jobs. They believe that our current departure from the Paris Climate Agreement is putting our country's health, security, and economy at risk. Republicans believe that America has made great progress and that the environment is improving, pointing to evidence that our air and waterways are healthier than they were a few decades ago. They believe that America has drastically reduced pollution, mainstream recycling, and educated the public. They believe that environmental problems are best solved by giving incentives for human ingenuity and the development of new technologies. They believe that too much government regulation stifles economic growth and costs thousands of jobs. Lastly, let's look at marriage and family views. Democrats stand with the LGBTQ community's fight for equality. They are focused on ending anti-LGBTQ violence, bullying, and discrimination, and to ensure that LGBTQ Americans are treated with dignity and respect in their communities, workplaces, and their schools. They take credit for the current state of marriage equality where it has currently been passed in all 50 states. Democrats continue to put their efforts in areas such as conversion therapy for LGBTQ youth and full legal protection for transgender Americans. Republicans are focused on improving the current state of the American family today. They point to the evidence of social sciences that children best thrive emotionally, physically, do better in school, are less likely to use drugs or become criminals when they are raised in a two-parent household. They state that 40% of children who now are born outside of marriage are five times more likely to live in poverty, and nearly three quarters of $450 billion the government spends annually on welfare goes to single-parent households. Hopefully this helped inform you of the different viewpoints of the two political parties in the United States as we enter into voting season. Remember that this is not meant to divide, but hopefully to help us all find some common ground in order to push forward policies and laws that benefit every American. But before you go, hit that like button, and don't forget to respectfully comment about your thoughts down below. Did you enjoy this video? Please hit that like button and subscribe to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter. Have you seen the first round of Democrats vs Republicans? Be sure to check it out in some of my other videos to the right.